We're here on TV 18. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Grab another cup of coffee. We got a lot to chat about. Joining us now on the couch is Eric Peterson, Director of Competition for the National Sports Center for the Disabled. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome yeah. to our couch. Thanks. Um, this is the first time you have been here. No, first time with me here, right? Yes. So tell yeah. me about yourself. Well, uh, I grew up in Vermont. Okay. Yeah. I moved out to Colorado in 1984. Okay. Realized it didn't have to rain in the winter time, <laughs> yeah, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Right. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, basically pursued a ski racing career of my yeah. own, and okay. then I, I, I uh, pursued coaching after that. Got yeah. educated in, okay. at Colorado Mountain College, and, cool. and then uh, um, just kind of fell into my lap. Right. I think it was, uh, you know, kind of. A, 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 a gift for me. Yeah. yeah. Did so, you ski growing up in Vermont? Yes. Okay. I, I grew up since I've, I've been skiing since I was probably before I can remember. Right. Before you could walk, probably. Yeah, right. More than likely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And how did pursuing your own career go? How did? How was that? And I, I had some success, mostly okay. on the collegiate level. Okay. Yeah, cool. I had a couple national championships. Very cool. So I, was, you know, Great. I, 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 I did well for myself, Good. and and uh, uh, it opened doors for me. There you go. Uh, and okay. it made it so. You know, so many good athletes and so many good people to meet, and right. it's such a good, clean sport. Right, right. And you ski locally here now. You like it. I've heard um, a legend, someone whispers in my ear about Spring Splash and you. Oh, Spring Splash and me. Yeah, I've retired from that. <laughs> but yeah, when yeah. you were actively involved in it, what what, what happened? Tell me uh, the story. It was, it was a, more of a strategic thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you start last, you get a better chance of winning, and I and I was fortunate to win a, a number of them. I, yeah, I yeah. have heard ten. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm local not, legend. I'm not, I'm, I'm not counting okay. anymore. Okay. So I, I, I let the I let the, the new rookies right. take right. take that. Do that you share your now. secrets with anyone? Never. No. <laughs> Good. Yeah, only if they pay me. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, cool. So now now you're coaching. Yep. And you, how many athletes do you coach? Uh, we have right right now in our program we have about sixty five to seventy athletes that are yeah, in our cool. program at the at the NSCD. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we have three different programs. We have uh, alpine skiing, which okay. has been our predominant program yep. over the years. Yep. That started in nineteen eighty four. Okay. Uh, we just started with a snowboarding program about five years ago. Cool. Uh, it's really exciting news. And in, in uh, two thousand fourteen at the Sochi Paralympics, they had their first Paralympic event. That's for cool. And from from uh, three medals for the men, we won two of those medals. Awesome! So that was really cool. Totally. Uh, to, to see that happen uh -huh, on the, on the uh -huh. first thing, and then we also do uh, Nordic and biathlon training out at Snow Mountain Ranch in okay. Devilstone. Okay. Yeah. So wide range of competition. Yes. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Is the goal always the Paralympics? Not necessarily. Okay. I mean, I have two types of athletes. Okay. I have athletes that come here to win Paralympic medals mm -hmm. and and try to be the best that they can mm -hmm. be. But we also have athletes that are here for quality of life. Okay. You know, people okay. that are just want to be part of something. Yeah. yeah. Know that they they're never going to be a Paralympic champion, but mm -hmm. they want to be. Yeah, on a, on a team they and be, be involved, and yeah, they want, that's cool. Yeah. So. So do you snowboard and ski? Can you do you do both? Um, I can ski. <laughs> Snowboarding is something that I um, uh, I've yet to really conquer or really yeah. challenge myself yeah. with. One of my athletes made me sit ski once. Oh, you know, and how'd because, that go? Well, I, I was successful, and she wasn't very happy because I was <laughs> successful. Uh, <clears throat> but she said she wouldn't take my coaching anymore unless I got into one. <laughs> well, that, that's fair, right? Yeah. You yeah. know what, what she's feeling. Yeah, yeah but uh, my, my job is to, to make them go as fast as they want to okay. go. Okay, you know, cool. Their, their job is to, um, you know, whatever their goals and dreams might be, yeah. Is, is what I'm there to do cool. to, to help them fulfill those things. Very cool. Well, um, Becky alluded to you knowing a little bit about blind skiing and leading it. So I'm mm -hmm. going to ask you that when we come back from our break. Again, Eric's joining us, the Director of Competition for National Sports Center for Disabled. Um, stay tuned. We've got more to learn. <laughs> Thank you. 